Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sims 4 YouTube video. Today we're checking out another mod, and this time it is on the Odd Jobs Pack by Maya Games. Now, I've covered some of her mods before on this channel, and I love all of the mods that she puts out. They're all incredible mods for your Sims 4 game, and today we're checking out the Odd Jobs, which I think just came out because it's still in early access. It will come out publicly on February 10th of 2024, so not too long but also it gives you kind of an idea to keep this in mind for your own sims 4 games so this mod does require the island living pack so if you don't have island living it won't be able to work in your game because it needs to use the odd job interaction like ui panel in the sims but anyways let's get into today's mod review this is my first time playing with it so it's, it's kind of going to be a blind reaction to the mod as well so let's get into today's mod review so we are back in game and if you have been keeping up with some of my youtube videos you'll know that this was our lawyer sim that we tested out the active career by kiara sims but I've, i brought her back to test out some odd jobs in our game so as always we'll go over to the find odd jobs which open up at 8 a.m so just be mindful of that we'll have her look for the odd jobs that are up and as you can see you'll be able to kind of pinpoint which ones are like the sims and which ones are maya games because like the inner the little icons are different but there's a ton more for you for your sims to do now and so you can have more odd jobs within your game and hopefully make some extra cash so as always they, they do require certain skills so like this one is a recommended skill fitness of level two and that's at 35 dollars an hour i feel like we should really do this because i feel like i always bring judith in to my mod reviews and i think my sims got some fitness skills so let's just start off with the light one or we could either do the sand sculpture judge and that's for 21 dollars an hour i think you know what i think we'll go with the hiking buddy one and go from there so this is our recommended skill level is a fitness level two i actually don't know what she's at she's at a one maybe i should work on that when you meet the minimum requirements the more money you get like the better you'll do at it but she is off to work a lot of these are rabbit holes so just keep that in mind she is back and she failed we should have done the sand sculpture one anyways we're gonna do some more i my goal is in this video to get five stars we've never done that before we've got one star here but my goal is to get the five stars maybe i should do the sand sculpture one because we already have i'm pretty sure we've got the charisma we've got we've got the that level one charisma and when is this odd job it starts at 1 p.m thursday so we have like 20 minutes until she goes there i really wish some of these odd jobs you could actually go and judge the sandcastles because like that would be pretty cool Ooh, we got 115 dollars from that we got a great success your odd job rating has improved we got a 105 dollars and 10 dollar tip that's what i'm talking about because when you have the skills to do it the better you are at it you know but i think majority of people know that from the odd jobs if you've played with island living before you'll know that when you have the skills to do it it, it works a lot better than when you don't we've got two stars now which isn't bad and i should have probably looked at her skills because i actually don't know what she has we could do this box packing one because this one is required with no skills this should be easy and it starts at 7 p.m so you could do a bunch of these you could just do odd jobs for a living okay we got 84 from that and we got a success i do want to try i want to see oh we can't even look at it never mind all right we'll be back for day two i'm i'm gonna be number one at this odd job thing all right we're back day two of odd jobs i want to see what our skill level's at now because it should be at a three stars still at a two but each day you get new ones that you can do so they'll refresh and you'll have more you you know odd jobs that you're able to do with your sims i do you know i will still say that you should you know keep an eye out for your sim skill level because that's really going to determine how well you do at these jobs and not and the better you get at them the better jobs you get so oh this is 106 dollars recommended skill none and it's volunteer work we there's no way she can fail this there's literally no way she can fail this and this is one of those active ones so this is this is what i'm talking about we're gonna go and we're gonna travel to the beach so like some of these jobs are active and some of them aren't so that's the nice thing about odd jobs is you kind of don't know what you're getting when you pick them but i brought her to sulani it's raining right now but i can fix that now it's a beautiful day in sulani we got a comb for trash so we just need to 
do this here. Hopefully she finds something because we need three of them and it's due by 4 p.m. on Friday. It's 9 a.m. right now. Okay, we found one of the fingers of Sulani. Oh, I don't even need to click it. She'll just keep on doing it. I haven't played with the Island Living in a minute, so she found a grilled cheese sandwich. She's got these little token things that you can make bank off of. Let me tell you, if you get a rare Fingers of Sulani, you're probably set for your entire Sims 4 life. Probably not, but it is a lot of money. So I don't know. She's only found two out of the three pieces of trash. You are not playing chess. We are we are finding trash. The nice thing about beachcombing is you can also find stuff as well. Yeah, see, we got a we got $127 from that. Great success. Your odd jobs rating has improved. We got a $21 tip and we gained a relationship with Uber, which was in my last video for the lawyer thing. But I'm, I'm gonna sell some of this stuff right here. We found a bat fish. Quality is foul and it's rare. See, we got the eyes of Sulani too. That's just common. We got a grilled cheese sandwich, which is spoiled. And then we got the fingers of Sulani. So we actually made a lot more money on that odd job from it being an active one than just kind of a regular one. But I'm gonna have her go back home. We'll see where we're at with the odd jobs. And it's 11 a.m. So we finished quite early for that one. And I will say with this odd job pack, there's a lot of odd job packs within the sims it's mainly which ones that you like but these ones there's a lot more of them so like before in the sims there were you could kind of you know see the same ones every now and then but she added a whole bunch of them so there's a boatload there's so many new odd jobs now within the sims 4 with that odd job pack and um again the more stars you get the better you will be at it so we need to find something okay let's read this one from blossom it says recommended skill mischief level four it says a mayhem at the beach you get paid 120 simoleons and it says it seems like everyone on the island is in a constant state of sunshine they're all so helpful and dot 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 sweet it's annoying let's cause a bit of mayhem on the beaches we'll show them how to have real fun you're literally being paid paid to be a jerk just let him live just i'm not gonna do that one because i don't even think my sim has a level four mischief but that does seem like a very sim thing to do okay so it says wingman wanted i can't do that one because we don't have a level three charisma we could probably do this recommended skill for none and it's the needing nom noms i'm pretty sure it's kind of like a version of uber eats but in the sims this is definitely a rabbit hole but there's no way she can fail this one and this one starts probably at noon. Yeah, she's gonna go to work. Okay, yes, we got a success. We got a $36 for that, so that was good. We did not go up in our odd jobs though. So we're still at a level three, but I wanna do a few more. I mean, maybe we could try this mischief level four, the one that I said I wasn't gonna do. We don't even have mischief. That might not be a smart one because if you don't do good at them, they will lower your odd job skills. Oh, we actually have to go to the beach for this. Hold up. It's a good thing I checked because I would have waited for her to go off to her little thing. Let's do a funny introduction. My sim doesn't have any mischief skills, but there's no way she can fail if I'm having to do this. It says do mischief interactions and destroy sandcastles. It's a little rude. Pranks. I like doing the hand buzzer. I used to do that when I was a kid. We acquired the mischief skill. Let's build a sand sculpture together and then she can tear it down. That seems a bit rude, but it's for my odd job. So this needs to be done by 4 or 8 p.m. on Friday. So like in four hours, she's building a sandcastle. Oh, he's building one too. Perfect. I need to go like quickly. I'm not going to be able to make this one. Monster stop the sandcastle. This is actually quite fun. I don't want to help. I want to knock the sandcastle over. I can give her fake bad news. My sim loves mischief. Okay, here we go. She just knocked over that sandcastle, but we've got like two more things we got to do. And I think I'm just going to use Layla for all of my mischief stuff. We can invite her to a fake party because we got it. We're on crunch time. We got to go. Okay, we've got one more interaction to do. We just got to, we'll be due in an hour and she has not finished. Okay, we did it. We got 120 20 bucks. We did not get any promotions or anything. I guess like any updates on the stars, but I'm going to have her go home. I'm pretty sure that the odd jobs are like locked. Like there's only certain hours that you can, you know, access them. I think I'm going to wait for the next day to get some more because $426. It's mixology. It says deadline Saturday, 2 a.m. That's fine. 
that's fine. If I need to, do we have a mixology skill? We're about to get one. Okay, I've purchased my bar and we're just gonna practice making drinks. So it's due by 2 a.m., but I need her mixology skill to go up. Okay, we're gonna prepare the kava now. Did she not do it? Is it because it's on the, the bar? No, there you go. She's making it now. So we should be able to get our 426 bucks and then it says mail the kava how do i do that do i go over to the mailbox oh here we go mail kava to customer there we go run because it's like 12 a.m i know it's due at 2 a.m but okay we got 426 and we got a six or we did get a success we didn't get a update on the stars again i'm gonna have to go i'm gonna have her go to bed but you can honestly make this a career i was never big for odd jobs up until now i think i've changed my mind on odd jobs you, you can make a career a living out of you know, making kava and doing odd jobs. Oh, we could just do this kava one again. There we go. We got the kava one again. I gotta buy another bowl though. Because that one we could knock out really quickly because I already had, I already have the um skill level for it. Like she's already at a level two for mixology. Okay, and then we just put this in our inventory, go to the mail, boom. This should this should bring us back up because we did that very quickly. We got a $127 tip. So we're back at Sulani doing the volunteer work for the beach cleanup. And my thought process is that last time we made some good money with doing this odd job because we found some treasures and stuff. Now it's not guaranteed all the time that you will get a treasure from the beach combing. Like she literally found a pizza. That is spoiled. All right, we finished that and I think we got, you know, 106 simoleons. We did not get an, like a promotion or anything like that. We did get this heart of Sulani, which I'm gonna sell. We got this rare shell, which I'm gonna sell as well. And then we got this koi fish, which I'm gonna sell. But we're gonna go back home. I guess this is kind of like a prequel to can you get rich, but in this case using odd jobs. And with my guess, I would say that yes, you could get rich, but I'm wondering what I our odd jobs will look like when she gets a five. That's what I want to see. And I have, if I have to grind, if I have to do some of these odd jobs off camera to get there, I will. We'll just do this wingman wanted one, which starts in about 40 minutes or 30 minutes. All right, we did get our rating improved. We got $126 and we got a $37 tip. So we should be back with our four stars. We just need to make sure that we don't fail anymore so that we can get to level five. We could do this looking for a love guru for Dirk. It's $122 an hour and it's ASAP. All right, she's gonna go off and do that one. She's gonna go off and do this job. I think it should be around seven. Okay, we got $585 from that. So that is amazing. We'll go ahead and let her go to sleep. Come back tomorrow. All right, we're back. I don't know what day we're on for odd jobs, but I am convinced today is the day my sim makes it to five stars of odd jobs. Okay. Here we go. We've got some more odd jobs. I like every day they refresh. So it's new ones. You've got some better ones than you would have when you first started out. So there's kind of, you know, it entices you to do better at these. Okay, we could do this ocean embrace one again because that's $658. And because we already are at a fitness level of three, I think we should be good to go on this one. I'll go and travel the normal way and not what I was doing before. All right, so we're gonna head off to this buoy, free dive for treasure. The quicker, again, you get these odd jobs done, the better it is for your sims. The more money you get, more benefits you get from them. So hopefully we if we find something good, I might have to keep it. Okay, never mind. I think I said that last time. Anyways, we'll go back home. We've got our treasure. And the fact that this is actually due at 6 p.m. Monday and it's already noontime, we should get a little bit of a bonus. All right, we'll go ahead and mail that over to our client or customer. Success, we got 658 and also our bills are due as well. So I need to pay those. Okay. All right. We're back for, I've lost count of how many days we've done this odd job thing, but today we might get five stars. Okay. So I sent her off for a odd job with Judith to teach her how to dive and hopefully we get something out of this one. Okay. We got 453 bucks. Still not what I wanted. All right. We're back for day five, I think of finding odd jobs until we get, of getting odd jobs until we get a five star so I can see how much we could make at five stars. And I am not sure what we should do today. I'm definitely, I can't do the cave one again, but I can do this one again. She is missing the outdoors. So I think this would be good for her to get back out into the, uh, the ocean and we're, 
we're making, you know, big money today. I'm gonna buy some extra dive gear, like a diving knife. And I think I'll uh, purchase like one of these rebreathers so we can free dive for treasure. And she's got a knife now so she could get some extra stuff. All right, we got this fingers of Sulani and they can take the common one. If it was a rare one, I would have kept it. Back to the mail room we go to ship this off. Took a little longer than I expected, but we did get $789 from that. That's pretty good. But I could do the storm repairs because I think my Sims got some handiness. I think, hopefully. Let me check. Okay, she's a level five, so that should be pretty good because I think you needed level five for that one anyways. Okay. We got a good outcome. We got 560 bucks. How many odd jobs will I have to do to get a level five? I'm going to do this box packing one because that requires no skills. <gasps> We did it. Okay, tomorrow we should be able to see what we get for our stars being five of them. We have five stars now. We're at a five star rating. It only took us like a week, but we got there. All right, today's our last day. We finally got to what I said I was going to do originally in this video. Let's see what our options are now. Okay, so you see we're at a five star. We got green across the board. We start off with kind of the lighter stuff and towards the bottom, we should be able to have some more options. We got that Kava thing again. We also got this painting. So not much has changed if you're five stars, but again, with each kind of you know extra star you get the better it is it's kind of like the retail shops and stuff like with your vet clinics and restaurants and stuff the more stars you get the better it is so honestly i think i'm gonna leave it here and maybe not do one because i don't see anyone that we haven't done before again it's a mix of active ones and non-active ones so it's kind of like a semi-active odd jobs and stuff like that but again she added in a lot more odd jobs for your sims to be able to do whether you want to make this a full-time career or not you got some more odd jobs in your game so i will end the video here well thank you so much for watching today's video i wasn't expecting to make it as long as i did but honestly the more i got playing with it the more fun i had and honestly i kind of just made it a can you get rich to be honest with you because you can get rich with the odd jobs if you're you know i think a level three and up like if you're at three stars and up you can probably make this a living for your sims you might not be making a whole lot of money but if you get really good at it you probably can i wasn't really calculating how much money our sims made but she made some bank you know throughout those days when we finally got up to those you know better stars when you finally got some more of those odd jobs that gave you enough money but anyways let me know in the comments what you think about this mod and would you put this into your game also do we like odd jobs do we not i like them i think they add for some more gameplay within your sims 4 game they also kind of add for you know some extra cash here and there i know they have the kadoodle job listings for kids that i covered here on this channel where it's odd jobs for your children as well so you can have the whole family doing odd jobs but make sure you turn on those notifications and hit that subscribe button so you never miss another youtube video like this and again i will see you all on wednesday